<clears throat> Today is Boxing Day 2020. This will be my first broadcast on international affairs in English. I pray for President Donald J. Trump. When Obama was running for the presidency the first time, he promised change that we can believe in. He elucidated, elucidated the problems of the black communities as regards the absence of fatherhood. But according to his elder sister in Kenya, the deep state gave him a list of topics that if he agreed, he will be able to become president. Obama knew that the deep state has that agenda, but he sold his dignity and became president only to carry out the policies against fatherhood, family, and even anti-American. The blood of black babies flowed in abortion clinics like rivers flow. He promoted abortion and LGBT. Obama is a coward. He failed the black people all over the world. Donald J. Trump, the Orion of our time, landed in the White House and confronted the globalists, the terrorists, the deep states. He annihilated ISIS and the establishment declared war on him. He broke out peace in the Middle East. He did not start any war. He confronted the dirty play of China. He wanted to meet with Putin to work together to resolve all conflicts in the world. He started pulling the US troops from useless foreign wars. This is where he offended the world industries and many of those colonels that need war and conflicts to get promotion to become general. Donald Trump stands upright for life and defunded the abortion industries, which in turn gave life to many black babies. Hillary and Biden projects created more prisons for blacks and abortion clinics in the black communities instead of businesses. Trump reactivated businesses in the black communities. He gave billions of dollars to promote enterprising in the Indian and black communities. The saddest part of it, of the story, is that the powerful media came out against him. This is a coup against Donald Trump. If they succeed, democracy dies. Blacks will be the worst victims and may end up in slavery again. There is a war to destroy the Judeo-Christian based Western civilization, which in turn will eliminate freedom in the world. The prophets did not lie. In Egypt, when they heard of the birth of a leader that later will be known as Moses, they slaughtered Jewish babies in Egypt. In Israel, when they heard of the birth of a savior, they slaughtered babies in Bethlehem because they knew the prophet announced it. Now they know that prophets from the year 2007 and all over the world foretold Trump's victory. The evil globalists went to war to steal the election. I repeat, 
the prophets did not lie, nor did they deceive the people. God has his plan and he is in control. If the Americans allow these evil people to steal the elections, know that the prophets lied, but the earth shall see the wrath of God Almighty. We shall see deaths of so many people around the world. Women will not be able to get pregnant. Serenity will cover the earth. There will be plenty of misery all over the world. Donald Trump is the only one to speak out against the persecution of Christians all over the world. He also denounced in the United Nations General Assembly the persecution of Christians and Muslims in China. In 2018, he stood against all the powerful in Davos meeting where he denounced globalism as a return to slavery and wanted every nation to be independent and build their society based on all their beliefs and based on their idols in Christ. I pray to the Lord of God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, the God of David and Solomon to stand up for Donald J. Trump and give him victory. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Donald J. Trump is the only one that stands before them, those evil people. I pray to God to have mercy on mankind and give victory to Donald J. Trump. I pray for a divine intervention in the United States of America. I pray to God to take control of the situation to prevent bloodshed in the United States of America. And I pray to God to bless the United States of America and to preserve freedom. Because these people that want to come to power, the first thing they will do is to ban freedom of speech, freedom of religion, close down churches and synagogues, and even mosques. Because they think that they are greater than God. And it's time for us, those who believe in God, to tell them that they are not God. There is only one God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. And we believe in him. He is the owner of the time. His will be done. May the will of God Almighty, Jehovah, be done. Amen.